the thing about having a vision for something is that nobody else can see it but you it's almost like an imaginary thing that you're the only one who can actually see what's going on and, and what it will look like in the end but the reality is even you can't even see it until you actually start to do it until you actually start to put in that work and, and actually start bringing what's in your mind into reality because often what happens is is we'll have a plan we'll have a vision for how things will look and then once we go to and move to execution it looks totally different because there's a difference between imagination and reality but the the truth is is that you don't get to reality unless you execute so a lot of the things that you'll see me doing going forward are execution and it's kind of one of the the scariest uh uncertain um places you know creatively to be it's exciting but at the same time it's not the same it's exciting but you don't know what the outcome is going to be uh, or what the reaction is and so uh, at this point man i'm i'm all in on my dreams like i'm all in you know and at some time in life or another, you got to go all in on your dreams and all in on yourself. Because if you don't, then there's always going to be that shoulda, coulda, woulda. What would have happened? What could have happened if I actually took the time, right, to, to, to make it work and to make it happen. And so uh, even just this video right here is me executing some ideas and things like that that I have and now I'm in a position where I know that I need to be more consistent with doing you know things uh, my way and so um, as you saw on Instagram the name changed from Reginald uh, Bullock 409 to Reggie B 409 to now you know Reggie Aze and all that is is branding you know branding giving giving you know putting myself out there as far as what i really want to do and what i really want to be since 2020 uh at this point you know i put out over 10 albums across uh six different artists that are all you know produced and managed by me um and you know we've done over 1.5 million streams um, across all streaming platforms, and it's a good feeling to look at um, and say, "Wow, like the things that I'm doing are working." And I just gotta continue and, and keep going. So um, be encouraged and get your hustle on. Right, understand that whatever you have inside of you that's something that you've always wanted to do or becoming the person that you've always wanted to become is still possible but the only way that it will be possible is if you put in the work if you put in the time and so the song and the video um that you're about to see uh call whatever it takes is me saying that you know i swear i'm on a mission i'll do whatever it takes even if it takes me up to heaven's gates i promise i put in work just like them 808s right if you ain't with me you against me get chopped out my way so it's like i'll do whatever it takes even if it, that mean even if i die right i'm putting my life on the line you know that's what those lyrics represent it's like me saying you know like i'll do whatever it takes even if it takes me to the point where you know i will die i'll stand on this um and it's like because you don't know what's what's what weapon is going to be formed against you you don't know the opposition and things like that that you're going to have to face all you really know is 
you know that it takes kinetic energy like energy and motion actionable things in order for you to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish so um you know this video is really just describing uh the song um the story behind the song uh i wrote this uh during the pandemic this the album if i should die uh that whole album was recorded on this microphone and i got three computers here this computer here in a hotel room uh in virginia uh during the pandemic when you know i'm living in rome italy my wife and i we got sent back uh home um you know the job sent us back home because of the pandemic and it was three of us in a hotel room with a three-year-old you know uh running around like lightning in a bottle for five months um and you know my only outlet was music you know um I, I got COVID, uh, and I had a really bad run with COVID, and, um, you know, coming out of that, I was like, man, you know, I don't want to die with my music still in me, so, you know, that album was titled If I Should Die, and this was the first song on the album, because it was like, if I should die, you know, before I wake, I want to have given my all into the things that I, I want to do and accomplish in life, which is, you know, be a great, become a great musician, a great producer, a great artist. And the first song on there saying, whatever it takes, I'll do whatever it takes, is, is, a, is like a, de a declarative, declarative, declarative statement saying that, you know, basically exactly that. So, that's the story behind the song um for those who are interested um you know all of my all of my music you know people ask like well what is what are you about as an artist what what you know what like what what's the story behind the song you know and and what would make you a rapper oh you 32 years old and you're a rapper blah 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 it's like you know, i hear it all um you know i've been i've been been doing this for 20 years now 20 years i've been making music 20 years that's a long time to have done something consistently um that i love to do and to be quite honest you know i i when when nipsey hustle said he he been through every emotion he felt every emotion i call my thing the marathon because yeah I, i'm not gonna lie and and, and portray um this ultimate poise like i've been had it figured out no nah, i just didn't quit that's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or went through this or is gonna go through this is that i ain't quit i went through every emotion i went through every emotion with trying to pursue what i'm doing you know what i mean mm -hmm. and i think that what what's gonna separate whoever's gonna try to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit unless you know you're gonna really take the stance if i'm gonna die behind what i'm what i'm getting at right now I felt him on that because that's how I feel at the moment. Like, I feel like I've been through, you know, and felt everything. Um, so, you know, the, the reality, man, is that um, the, the, one, the one true truth is that um, you won't ever get to where you want to be unless you start unless you take action you won't ever 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 get any further than where you are now unless you start walking unless you start doing the things that are required of you to become successful and that's the hard facts that's the god honest truth so um man thanks for watching um once again, it's, it's Reggie. I go by all my friends and family call me Reggie. Um, all Zay is how you say the name. You know, that's my artist name, my producer, rapper, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I think I'm a little bit more than a rapper, to be honest with you. I've made every beat, song, you know, on the albums that I do. I've produced every single thing. I've engineered most of it. Um, 
I'm doing the video editing and all of that stuff. It's like, if you want to make it in this world, you got to be willing to do everything. You got to be willing to, to get your hands dirty. And that's what I'm doing. So, uh, again, this is the story behind the music. Thanks for watching. Peace.